Okay, this way. Okay, the next move is the opponent try to respond using the same elbow strike. This is how we block the opponent. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time how to use the elbow strike. Okay, next, he tried to do the same thing like I did. If you want to slip your hand into the opponent's back and strike, this is how you do it. One more time, slip your hand, your right hand into him and pull him in the strike. Okay, next we are going to show you how to do the double sticky hand and do the sparring too at the same time. Okay, by doing this, you can also learn the sensitive too. If the opponent trying to strike you, any direction you want, you can respond from there. The most important thing on the double stick here also is the opponent. Where the weak point is, is the elbow. If they come into here, strike into it. It's where we do here, here. Or strike into that. The practitioner does not try to memorize tens or hundreds of techniques. No, the practitioner learns some movements, but the key is to develop touch and movement sensitivity, and also to learn response to an opponent's movements through touch and motion sensitivity. In the next segment, we will watch as Sifu Chong tutors two students as they practice double sticky hands.
try, try and roll back again. Try. When you do the double sit your hands, you try and give yourself the most one fist length away from the body. You know. And uh, we I talk about the second, okay? Now, let me have okay? Now, the most important thing on the double sticky hand, you know, some people like to do this one like that. You know, some, because why? When you start doing this, you're resting yourself in your belly, see? When you start rolling, see, you're resting too. You see, that's not very good. You gotta go up a little bit. So when you start rolling, okay, this way, and roll towards it. And I think, see, trying to correct the opponent's hand. Here, this is very important elbow, and towards closer finger, thumb in. Yeah. Same thing is that, right there. Okay, give me a little more weight in here. So it's a groin, see here, like that, elbow. If I felt the opponent don't have the elbow in, I can go in to strike the opponent here. Okay, or if the elbow is not in, you can go in toward that side. Okay, and if you're gonna roll, okay, changing hand, see, only one guy can change. If two guys start changing, it's no good, you follow the up corner. Same thing this side, this way, this way, thumb in, that's bad, or on a double sticky hand, here, okay. Trapping hand, see, you can trap this way, strike, or you can trap the other side too. Here. Then don't go here. Too close to your body, they can turn on, they can strike you. This way up more, block it. If they come back, push it out to you. Go. Then, all right. Then they have to do is to bounce up. Grab this hand down and up stop. See that? Lock it. So in the winter, on the bottom hand is very important. See? A lot of times, you know, people, they try to do this, try to distract attention, but they forgot the one on the bottom. Hand that can be seen is not danger. The hand that cannot see is the one always gets you in trouble, always get hit. Okay? That's why in the moment you felt this one here, grab this hand down, like that. Then strike it. Strike, see? Or, bounce up. But this one here, when you start, Doing the laps out, you grab them back here, you strike here into that. Some people like to do this one like that. What happened? You expose yourself, see? But this one here, you roll, knock his hand down and strike it. Of course, he can intercept your hand. It's true. See, the moment you see that, when his hands come up, you can pull his hand down, you can jerk his hand down into that, and strike the opponent here. Okay? If when you pull the opponent hand down, drop the stand down, one foot forward, see, 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 see that? These hands don't stay too close to your body. You gotta push his hand out a little bit and you start here. Okay. When he starts strike, see from here, this hand will fine. See? But this is a very bad position. We start here. Okay, now now put the wood sauce like that. What happened? Our opponent can really knock you down here. But this way, they had a hard time knocking the hand because of this spot here. Wood sauce. Okay. They can bring grab the hand or do anything you want to go right hand to. See the more, see that this one go. You trap the opponent's hand. This one can strike. You. But don't lift your hand and strike because like I said, when you strike the opponent, this part strike it too at the same time. Okay. So you try and do a couple of rows, see what happens. Go ahead and do it. Okay. The leg, tuck it in a little more. This one, drop the stand a little bit. Right. Don't go too far. Push your last and that one. Here, yeah. right, drop it a little bit. Let's drop it a little bit. Okay. Head up. Most important is head up. When you do the fox up, don't go like that. Make sure you go a little further up more. Yeah. Hang on to his hand. Yeah, fox up, cut to be on his hand. 